All right, so this is a review I never planned on making. This $11 cooler is usually just my budget ITX and used CPU solution. Usually used in situations a tower cooler or AIO isn't an option, and you're not overclocking. But when recording uh, a previous video, my Wraith Prism died. We did have a setback with my rig. My RGB fan's gone. We have a snowman on there now because while we are doing all this and filming, the fan on this RGB cooler. This was, I have a 5800X3D, but this is actually a stock cooler from a 3900X. So let's start with the good before we get to its one major problem. It's actually a great cooler. It's essentially a four heat pipe tower cooler that's been bent over to fit in tighter places. It worked amazingly well, way better than I expected. While it didn't stomp the Wraith cooler by any means, it matched it. Its fan is quiet at 100% compared to the Wraith. And the Wraith was used on my 2600 as well and left over from a 3900X build. So the only reason I used it was I already had it and I kept it because it worked and I liked its RGB. Alright, so it survived the Cinebench R23 stress test without thermal throttling. And moving over to R15, yes I know it's old but it's the only one I have other Ryzen results to compare it to. It matched the Wraith Prism score with Ryzen Master doing some auto OC. The only CPUs beating it were liquid cooled. The other 5800X3D result that's higher up is the exact same chip, but one it was in Dylan's rig with the Corsair Elite 360mm AIO and tuned in Ryzen Master. The 3900X and 5700 were both liquid cooled and tuned in Ryzen Master, both with 240mm AIOs. The 5700 was an iBuy power machine that came in for a motherboard replacement and ended up with an AIO once the customer saw the cooler that came off the CPU. Yes, this is the actual CPU cooler they used. The 5700 at the time was an OEM only CPU. So even if this was a home built PC, you still wouldn't have had a stock cooler to include with it. Now I will mention I used MX4 thermal paste. I run an MSP in a little repair shack, so I buy 45 gram tubes of MX4. I am currently halfway through a tube I opened a few months back, so I don't really take it into account when pricing a cooler, since I never use the stock paste anyway. And this is also a more fair comparison, I think, since all those other results were using the same paste. So, case closed, right? It's an $11 cooler that will get the job done on virtually any consumer CPU. So what's the drawback? Well, the mounting mechanism. It's a big drawback. While it's okay for any Intel system with the adapter ring, or AM5, anything prior to AM5 runs the risk of becoming a CPU slingshot if not removed with extreme care. The clips are so tight and rigid installing it inside the case required more down pressure on the cooler than I normally feel comfortable with. In fact, it appears that I might have slightly bent it trying to install it. So now this snowman here has the same mount. It's extremely tight. Insanely tight. And then you have the, the AMD, like, little lever. Like, I don't understand how much more expensive this mechanism could be than that. Like, if these coolers had this mechanism, it would be perfect. I just Any prior build I've used these in, it was installed on the motherboard outside of the case. Once it's installed, it's under so much tension that if you're not pushing down on the cooler as you remove the clips, it will seesaw and yank the CPU from its socket. If I upgrade to an AIO in the future, I will remove the motherboard and run it outside the case, stress the CPU, heat it up and remove the cooler before it cools completely. Removing it inside the case is not worth the risk. In fact, I may just order an ARGB fan for it and call it good enough. So yes, use this on any Intel or AM5 platform. Just be very cautious when removing it on any AM4 or prior AMD platform. So all in all, minus the mounting issues, this is a great cooler. This was a temporary solution that is probably going to remain permanent. But that's it for this low quality video. I will see you guys next time.